So here's the context from Luke chapter 9, verses 28 through 31. Jesus is having a chat with Moses and Elijah, who lived a long time ago, and they were all sporting a really neat lightning look for their wardrobe. Now the boys wake up and verses 32 through 33 tell us, Peter and the others had fallen asleep. When they woke up, they saw Jesus' glory and the two men standing with him. As Moses and Elijah were starting to leave, Peter, not even knowing what he was saying, blurted out, Master, it's wonderful for us to be here. Let's make three shelters as memorials. One for you, and one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Can you imagine how that must have made the guys shake in their sandals when waking up to that scene? The Bible says that Peter didn't even really know what to say. And yet, besides the exciting circumstances of it all, there's a remarkable and wonderful promise in this event. Notice in verse 33 that Peter definitely recognizes Moses and Elijah. Friends, we should hold the transfiguration close to our hearts, not only because it reveals the divinity of Jesus, but also because this tells us we're going to know and recognize people in heaven as well with glorious and radiant bodies. Thank you.